Okay, so first time recording post commentary through the Sony Vegas recording feature. I managed to figure it out. It was a little bit tricky, but uh, yeah, in the end, my mic works on it now. But uh, I was playing quick match today with my line of another calf, which you can see right there. And I'm quite proud of it. Difficult to, to, you know, a little bit difficult to do, but uh, he's work in progress still. A couple uh, modifications might happen, but for the most part, he's pretty uh, finalized. I went on quick match and I came across a Tony Ferguson player. And there's two fights here. The reason I'm including both is because they were both really fun. And and also because it's Tony Ferguson and Lionel Manani, you know, those are the, that was that was Lando's first fight. So uh, I'm, I'm moving about, moving about, trying to be Lando. Got that untouchable level five. Oh, I think it's untouch yeah, I think it's untouchable level five, which is uh, better slips in round one. He goes to the body kick. I catch it. He's hit me with a he throw. He throws a lot of one twos. Does uh, Baggy? I noticed. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and work the kicks like Lando. I missed a couple here and there as I tried to find the range. He's also one inch short. That was my mistake. I, it's been a while since I... Because I actually put this calf on the back burner for a little while. But um, yeah, I came back to it recently after a friend told me he really liked the look of it. So did some more work on it. And uh, yeah, it turns out I'm not abandoning him after all. But I'm, you go, I tried to hit. I got him with the knee. Trying to slip back. But he keeps, clips me with that straight. He rocks me. Pushing me to the ground. And I think here he gets to, yeah, he gets to um, stacked. And I, for some reason, I have a tendency to try and catch strikes way too much. And it often bites me in the ass. As you can see here, I'm taking way too many shots. So I go feet on hips. And I believe, yeah, I reversed it here. I reversed his um, attempt to get back to stacked. I had a feeling he'd go back to stacked anyway. He reverses me as I go to posture up. That's my mistake. Again, I need to be a bit more patient. But I just, I don't like how fucking, like... How this ground game is entirely based on, oh, I have to wait for you to deny, or I'm going to wait here and not do anything until you deny. I, I, even if it goes in reverse, I like to see a bit of action. So I'll push it, even though I know it's not the best strategy. But I'm just waiting for him to posture up here, and I'm going to get out. Usually, you can go down, but sometimes people seem to like catch on to that, and they will go to deny down first. But I went to the right, hit him with those front kicks, a couple of elbows as well. And, yeah, I'm just trying to really get the grooviness going I, I did give him traditional combos level 5 which means you can do the oblique the lead oblique to the rear spin kick and my god it is a glorious thing to behold and speaking of the devil there you go I rocked him going to the jab to the body high kick I think I'm like well I, yeah go a little bit crazy when you rock him I mean Yolanda there you go front kick to the face almost to the head still works another high kick Sway, he tries to go for an overhand. I, well, he was just out of range. And then he gets with a back fist. Low kick as well. But I'm just really trying to mix it up. He goes for a takedown. I deny that. And getting the front kick is going. Really, mo I, mean, tr I mean, the first the first weapon I'd, I'd, I'd like to use as Lando is the kicks. I dropped him there. And I put him against the cage. He goes for the trip. But I don't let him get it. I get out because I don't want to be on the ground with Tony. Hit by that one, two. And mostly, I'm just trying to play out Lando, try and be evasive. But if it comes to be, if it, if it ends up being a brawl, I'm a brawl, you know? I'm just having a couple of hooks there. He catched me. He got me with some really good stuff, though. He rocked me quite a few times. But we got him as well. We got him. We, got tw we rocked him twice. And, uh, yeah, we're heading into round two now. Tony's a durable guy, man. He can take a lot of fucking damage on this game. Uh, Lando, yeah, I, I gave him a pretty high chin. Because uh, he he doesn't really he doesn't really get like his chin like his chin is pretty fucking solid so he rocks me there I sort of I sway back a lot when I'm rocked and the one thing I uh, flying knee rocks him I the the swaying back kills me when they go for a body kick because for some silly reason body kicks do like 600 billion times more damage if you sway back or are lunging backwards I I don't know why but. TA for you, I guess. Try to give that question mark kick. Eh, it's a lead question mark kick. It can it can land if you set it up, but it leaves you quite exposed. Go for those uppercuts. So I sway back. I don't want to get caught by those when I'm rocked, especially when I'm blocked. Now he catches me there. Finish the fight. And I was expecting him to punch him. No, he goes for an armbar. 
So Tony Ferguson looking to finish the fight here. Go with an armbar. I tried to escape, but just couldn't get out of that armbar by Tony Ferguson. So, you know, all credit to him. He did great. He nullified the kicks and he overcame adversity. That was like that was typical Tony Ferguson. Get rocked and then just come back, submission win. Look at that armbar. He's cranking it right there. All that hurts. And here we go to the second fight, which is... Well, he accepted a re Well, I, I asked for a rematch and he accepted. So we're doing it again. We're running it back. This is the rematch. And this was a hell of a fun fight as well. Oh, both of them were. So we touched gloves. I'm moving about again. This this time, I'm going to be more vigilant with his 1-2s. That, even though in the first fight I was aware of them, it still killed me a little bit. I just... I wasn't swaying enough. Like, I wasn't swaying in time. And I, I wasn't using... I could use a couple of other... Uh, there were more strikes I could have used to stop. Like, to stop him from being so effective. And, like I just said there. Or like I did just... Like I did... Like I just did there. Let me get that out. Uh, the, 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 the sway. The lunge. To the side. So I'm moving about, moving about. I gave him, I gave him the Machida stance. It was, I think it's probably the closest stance in the game to his real stance. I quite like it as well. It feels nice to play. He's going to the uppercuts on it. He loves his uppercuts, hooks and straights. Uh, jab straights. Does, um does this Tony player quite a lot of pressure as well quite a lot of pressure but as Lando I'm going to be trying to move get range throw nukes with kicks and just have some fun I tried to fake the uh, the hook kick well I did fake the hook kick I tried to go for a spinning uh, a superman match but he jabs also a flying knee and he uh, somehow brought me back to it turns out his hook has like times 100 gravity but he went to uh, yeah Tony went to do the sort of the praying motion type deal, the sort of goodwill type thing, and uh, the respect bow. And I was, I, I, I tried to, I think I, yeah, I tried to cancel my stroke, but I couldn't do it in time. So, yeah, I'm not sure why he did it, but if it was at the beginning round, I would have understood, but it was mid fight. Anyway, we're back in there. We're in a dogfight right here. I hit him with that straight. The lunging strikes I start to utilize more in this, they're very useful. Especially the jab to the lunging straight. They also work to the body as well. But if you rock someone, that's it, it breaks through their block. So you can go with a, a one like a jab straight and then a lunge jab and it will go straight through their block when they're rocked. It's, it's very useful. It can drop them as well. So as is the norm in this fight, uh, the Tony player is trying to go with those one twos a lot. And the hooks as well to counter my sways, which is smart. So I come back with a jab hook. I did incorporate a few push kicks to the body as well to get some distance. But for the most part, in this fight, and I caught up with that beautiful high kick. I, I knew that I, I just want, I wanted to time that. So I was waiting, I was waiting, I was waiting, and then bang. But um, yeah, for the most part in this fight, the distance, I've had a bit more distance to work with. And maybe we go hit him with a beautiful hook that... Send him, send him, I'm Sean Connery. Send him down to the canvas. He, got, he, he fakes that, and I thought I'd block the second attempt, but no. Got some GA here, so I have a very fast ball transition. He's hit me with those body punches. I'll just go to half guard. I thought, you know, nothing crazy. Just don't want to be in school. And there is the end of round. That was the end of round one. That was the second fight, yeah. We go straight to the second round. Thankfully, he skipped. Uh, let me know if you want more of these post uh, post commentaries. I mean, I'm down to do them now that I figured out the Sony Vegas way to record. It's a lot. It's a lot easier because it keeps up and it's always in sync. He hits me that he rocks me off the fucking bat. That's painful. I'm blocking. I'm swaying. You don't sway too much, but when you're rocked, you want to you want to time your sways. If you miss a sway, it can be pretty devastating. Uh, but I managed to time that. He hits me with that straight. That straight is killing me, man. There we go. I hit him with a, a lead hook. Lead hook rocks him. Try to go to the body. There we go. That lunge straight. Body front kick. Get a little bit of space. I'm trying to lunge. I'm trying to lunge. Uh, there's, there's four minutes left. Oh, okay. Now I'm rocked again. Yeah. But I catch his body kick and I rock him back. I'm going land a full land. I'm going crazy here. I'm throwing fucking jumping, flying kicks, all sorts of shit. Question mark kick. He's going with the fundamentals with the, the jab and the straight. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit more than Tony. 
I hit by the elbow. And the hook kick, just for added measure. I drop him with the uh, the spinning wheel kick, and I finish him off against the cage. This, that was one hell of a fight. Well, that was one hell of a fight. It's, well, especially when you're in the fight. It, it was really fun. And the first fight was fun as well. Uh, this, I want to give uh, a little bit of shout out to this guy, because he, uh, he, he, was, he was a good sport. Uh, he did decline the trilogy fight, sadly. Um, I, I was going to give him, I mean, I was going to hit the rematch button. I just wanted to wait for these animations to play it a little bit. But uh, I was going to, I was going to, I was going to give the trilogy fight, trilogy fight, but he did, he declined, sadly. Uh, but this guy, this guy's a fun player. He's a fun player. He's not really cheesy. He play, he picked Tony. He had some good fights. But anyway, it's coming, it's coming to the end of this now. So I am going to let you all go. I said it like a phone call. You know what I mean? I hope you all enjoyed. Um... Let me know if you want to see more of this style in, in the future, because I'm down to do it. Uh, especially for fights that I have, and they're really cool, and I just don't get to record them. But anyway, this is coming to an end, so I will see you all in the next one. Uh, take care.